Hey guys, I'm LB, and we have descended into a map called... Underrun Part 1 by SP2G50000. You are a test subject of Earth 1. When you travel to a certain universe, Cave with a lowercase c could no longer reach you. You now need to complete this testing track without GLaDOS knowing where you, where you are from. Isn't Earth 1 Earth Prime? Or was... I thought Earth 1 was Earth Prime. Okay. Can't tell- can't tell yet if this is beam water hammer, but this I think it's hammer. This next test involves emancipation Yes, it's hammer. Remember, I told you about them in the last test area that did not have one. Oh, why is the audio wrong here? GLaDOS went to a weird echoey voice when I walked in the room here. Which I don't think is intended. Interesting. What the? What am I gliding on here? There's like... What? If I tap W... Once... What am I gliding on? There's like... Some weird collision there that makes you glide. Strange. Oh, and there's some... It works here too, because... I guess I can't stand on this, or...? Weird! Okay, that's- that's weirding me out, man. Right, this is not a monoportal puzzle, what am I doing? Uh... Well, that's just con conveniently out of reach. There we go. Wait, what did that do? Actually, who knows what that did. I have no idea. Alright, well let's just press this unlabeled button. And it appears to have activated this unlabeled dropper. And... It looks like... First we want to do this, right? Yeah, that should work. Hey, there we go. Next up... I guess we could do... This? But then... if we do... How will we eventually activate this? Interesting... conundrum. I guess we just wanted to get the cube out, right? And then we can focus on... Maybe? Like that? Perhaps? Could we certainly... Or maybe we can. I think actually we can, if I... Place the portal properly. Is this scrap placed here to prevent me from doing this the way I want to? Gotta think of better ways to prevent people from using unintended solutions than that. Yeah, this will work just fine. Here's about a pile of junk. I can place the cube right next to it. Alright, so. Then from there... We can do... What do we want to do? Oh, is this what I was sliding on? Cause it's at a slight angle? Maybe that's what was happening. Interesting. Hey, what do you know? That's also a requirement for the exit, interestingly enough. I wonder if we're supposed to do something like this. 
That opens the exit alright, but... I don't really have a way... to do anything with that information. Because the laser is on the ceiling. I do like this catwalk area here. And I know the game did white for the sky sometimes, but I seriously think that's just Valve being lazy. There should at least be like a skybox or something other than pure white up there, because I know there's not a pure white landscape up here. There we go. Why didn't I just do that from the start? Problem solved. No, problem not solved. What am I saying? That's not- that is not a solution to the problem. It looks like a solution, but it's not, because as soon as I move the black portal, I have unbootstrapped. What actually happens if I go over there and place both portals? I felt like something pushed me back a moment ago, but I don't know what it was. Oh. Wow, I didn't even consider that, because of this- I didn't think to exploit this little gap here. Well, ha! <laughs> I feel dumb now. There we go, that's how you do it. Not bad. I forgot how good you are at this. You how would you get back yourself, though? Isn't that a trapping situation? We have a lot of tests to do. I feel like that is a trapping situation. I might restart the map at the end of this to see. Actually, let's just... let's save here, and we'll go ahead and restart. Because I am curious to know if that is truly a trapping situation. I told you about them in the last test area that did not have one. Uh... Oh, no, we wanted... we wanted this, didn't we? There we go. Oh, right, so that's not a trapping situation because... Because we can do this. Clever. Clever. Alright, I see. Alright, well, let's get back to where we were. My apologies. That's a cleverly designed puzzle. I think just... just for that puzzle, I'm already going to favor this. Alright. Onward. We couldn't jump up here. Yes, okay, so we have to take it this way. But nobody said I had to play... Oh. But nobody said I had to play... Oh. Invisible walls. <laughs> Alright, fine. I'll walk on here like you want me to. And look! Properly not glowy texture. Oh, and that's it. <laughs> well, guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. I wasn't expecting that to be the end of it. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you all in another video. Goodbye!